It's official, guys. NASA's on a UFO hunt. In the past few years, the organization has been hinting at pursuing this much-awaited space voyage, and honestly, ever since we've seen these crazy flying objects in cartoons as a kid, a part of us has always hoped that they do exist somewhere out there. In today's video, we'll go over everything that we know about NASA's UFO study and what we can expect from this expedition. First up, NASA is finally ready to study the mysterious UFOs. Yup, it's happening, guys. We're finally getting some answers. Earlier this year, the Space Admin held a press conference and announced their plans to commission studies regarding the unidentified aerial phenomenon, which we all know as UFOs. It's a subject that has been considered to be taboo for quite a lot of reasons, and it's pretty brave of NASA to take this leap. Most people have called them government conspiracies, others have called them a hoax, and some just think there's no way there are other forms of life out there, but we'll get back to that later. But now, putting all those doubts aside and shielding themselves from the scrutiny of the public, NASA is determined to seek the science behind these unidentified flying objects, and it's about time that happened. Sure, it's a bit of a gamble to pour in hard-earned dollars to test a theory that will most likely backfire, but the thrill and the curiosity of it all call for this sudden bout of bravery from NASA. Even though there have been countless witness accounts and sightings of such objects in the sky, all news regarding them has been swept under the rug to avoid any chaos. But all those efforts haven't gone in vain, because there's so much mystery surrounding these aerial phenomena that now, after years, NASA finally ticked and surrendered to the possibility of the unknown. And we don't know about you guys, but we have our fingers crossed and hope there's a super cool alien spaceship out there somewhere. So, what do we know so far? Obviously, the entire UFO debate has been going on for a while now. Our fascination with space and what lies beyond has led us to find out so much about the cosmos, and as we unravel more and more mysteries of the universe, we're met with even more questions that we struggle to find the answers to. But in an unexpected turn of events, NASA has suddenly grown an epic amount of interest in these unidentified aerial objects that previously no government even acknowledged, and there's good reason for that. Last year, the Department of Defense conducted its own investigation and stumbled upon first-person accounts and video evidence from U.S. fighter pilots who claimed to have seen strange objects in the sky that looked neither like planes nor like any of those exotic rare birds that we hear about. Perhaps that's why NASA switched gears and hit the gas on this one. Because if even fighter pilots, who spend more of their time gliding through the skies than anyone else, can't recognize these objects, then something's definitely up. And lo and behold, a month after Pentagon's report came out, Abby Loeb, a theoretical astrophysicist and former chair of Harvard University's astronomy department revealed the plans for the Galileo project, on the down low of course. And the reason for that was that GP is a secret initiative that's responsible for unveiling evidence of potential alien tech on Earth, and not many people were supposed to even get a whiff of its true intent. So what can we expect from NASA and its super secretive space quest? We guess now that cat's out of the bag then, right? And you know what they say, curiosity might have killed the cat, but satisfaction did bring it back. So it's probably a good thing that Abby's become the real life Nick Fury here. Maybe there are actual agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. within the Pentagon too, who knows? But even if there is now some official truth to this whole shebang, what should we expect this study to reveal? While Galileo Project has made its aim clear, NASA's pretty tight-lipped about its intentions. The rumor of them investing $100,000 in this nine-month study is certainly floating in the air, but it's unclear what they can bring to the discussion. First of all, the budget is kinda low, even for NASA, and to think this is the amount of money that's going towards a UFO study makes us think that maybe it's all for show. After all, childbirth in America probably costs more than that. Anyway, coming back to the less than typical funding, we think NASA's aim right now is just to gather scientists that have familiarity with the same data sets and aren't looking for ways to engage them and possibly uncover some truths to the alien narrative. Under the leadership of the great astrophysicist David Spergel, the agency is at least breaking barriers to space exploration. Our expectations are hanging a bit lower than the Gardens of Babylon right now, but we'll take what we can get, NASA. And finally, what are some obstacles NASA may face during this unlikely mission? UFOs have been the center of plenty of controversies. The steps that are now being taken to take this topic seriously are actually worth some applause here, guys. At least we're acknowledging that there may be creepy-looking deformed alien bodies out there who probably have an HD view of everything going on Earth and are laughing at us as we speak. While there are exoplanets out there that have the potential to breed human life, and there are mountains of evidence that there's a chance that life exists beyond our exosphere, it's still a bone-chilling thought to wonder about extraterrestrial life. Sure, there's literally no proof of anyone existing out there, but we gotta start somewhere and look for our long-lost Martian cousins. No doubt, NASA will face a lot of difficulty in this UFO study because to find something, you need to know what you're supposed to be looking for. Plus, when all the evidence you have is spooked out tales from whiplashed pilots and a few blurry images and videos that resemble stop-motion animation, then we're not sure if it's the push you need to conduct such a study. And of course, it's also the matter of how they're going to deep dive into the study. Are they using more spacecraft, launching a rocket into space, or are they spending our dollars on more telescopes to see if these objects 
projects are actually UAPs or just more trash from Elon's overambitious science project. And now, moving on to other news. First up, NASA identifies candidate regions for the next moon landing. Thank God for GPS, right? It's made our lives so much easier. It's also made some pretty cool improvements beyond Earth, too. Because of the amazing space tech we now have, it's easy to map out regions of the moon in case we ever want to go there for a long drive. But at one-sixth of the gravity, it's probably going to resemble an episode of the Teletubbies. Nevertheless, NASA's recently picked top spots on the southern surface of the moon as potential landing locations for the next lunar mission. And it may be no Texas, but let's hope the moon's southern hemisphere gives us some groundbreaking information soon. Next up, instead of an Amazon Echo Dot, NASA might send a talking spaceship computer into space. So basically, it's going to be NASA's version of Alexa, Space Alexa, Splexa? While that is still a name in progress, it seems like Artemis is going to have its own version of Star Trek's Enterprise on board. NASA is gearing up for its human space exploration program soon, and obviously, to establish communication, it's going to need to rely on an AI sidekick. And so, a prototype of such technology will also ride alongside astronauts to space later this month to see how well the voice-activated virtual assistant will perform. Floating in space has got to take a toll on you, and if you've got to operate a behemoth of a spacecraft, you're going to need some help. And lastly, NASA's generosity helps universities develop new gen space tech. If there's someone who believes more in space exploration than anyone else, then it's obviously going to be NASA. And recently, a new round of awards for them, aimed at helping researchers at universities develop innovative ideas for cutting-edge technology to support space voyages under the extreme conditions of the cosmos. NASA has offered its awards to seven selected projects that will help advance control systems for solar sails, help solar-powered systems survive during the moon's harsh weather, and of course, explore designs for novel materials that will be able to survive the tough weather conditions of space. These projects were selected by the early career faculty and were by students from accredited universities in the U.S., born with the amazing talent of innovating and creating new things. So, if you're ever looking to get a chance to work in NASA one day, hopefully, you might want to go to that university portal and apply soon. And that's a wrap for this video. What do you think about NASA's UFO study? Think we'll find some aliens anytime soon? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this. Until next time.